Hey guys, Professor Bell Comic Book University. Let's talk about Captain America, Sam Wilson, issue number 21. We get to see pretty much in the very beginning that Harry Hauser, the guy who's been bad-mouthing Sam Wilson all the time, he's just basically like a, a Rush Limbaugh of all things, just constantly berating him, browbeating Sam Wilson, saying, you know, turn in the shield, yield the shield, and all that stuff. Uh, by the way, I have loved, genuinely enjoyed all of the text messaging in the very beginning, it's kind of like a, a version of what the champions were when they first started. But he's sitting there having a dinner, dinner meeting with a Mr. Keen, a really rich fat cat who's been starting some trouble and all sorts of different things like that. And they're revealing that Captain America Steve Rogers has actually been telling them. And we, we heard that he was doing a bunch of behind the scene things. We didn't know the extent of it. Cap actually started the Americops. He, he started the idea of, of getting these towns ripped apart and, and getting the Americops to come in and all these different things, all these wheels in motion, all a part of Captain America's unbelievable strategy with chess. It's insane what he's doing. And he comes in and he's not particularly happy with what uh, Mr. Keene is doing, he's saying, you know, you've been profiting off of this and I don't like that. And to be honest, maybe that's true. Maybe who cares? Maybe it's just Cap having an excuse to kill this guy. And he told Harry to put a drink, slip a, slip a Mickey. It's basically a, a toxin and it kills Mr. Keene. And just Cap is ruthless, man. Cap is pure ruthless. So look, when push comes to shove, Captain America, Sam Wilson, he's just not having it anymore. He's trying. He's tried, I should say. He's tried. He's given it his all. Demolition Man is trying to help uh, his brother Gideon to rebuild the, the church and all that stuff. And it's just D-Man now, right? Anyway, so Sam Wilson, he's, he's not having a good time of this. And what he finally does is he says, you know what? I quit. I quit. You guys wanted me to quit? I quit. But he doesn't quit being a hero. He doesn't quit being a community organizer. He doesn't quit being who he is. He's always been Sam Wilson. Captain America was simply a, a role that he took up for the sake of his friend. He is so much more than just this government label. So he puts down the shield, takes off the costume, he puts on a new costume that we don't get to see in the comic itself, but in the end, we get to see that he actually took on this new mantle, and it looks a whole lot like what he was wearing in the in the movies. So <laughs> that's really cool, man. Like, we've, we've actually caught up with the movie in that regard. Now, on top of that, we get to see Rayshawn Lucas. Here's a, a full name to go with this this poor kid who living with his mom and he went out. He, he saw all the bad stuff that's been happening. He saw what happened to Rage. He heard about, you know, the the, the knockout, the, and the, the stuff that happened in prison, and he just freaked. He put on the, the Rage makeup and went out and he, he firebombed uh, with a Molotov cocktail, that, that bank, and he snuck back in at this point home and he's seeing that Sam Wilson has given up the shield. He's finally given up that mantle to go back to his roots in many ways. And he says, you know what? Fine. And he makes his own thing. He draws up this, this costume for the Patriot. And that's, guys, we're talking legacy characters here, man. You know, Eli Bradley was the Patriot before him. The very first Patriot was actually the, uh, the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. comic uh, movie, uh, TV show that's out. Sorry, a little brain flustered there. But director Mace, uh, Jeffrey Mace, is actually, in the comics at least, he's the original Patriot. And he wound up giving up that role so that he become the new Captain America after Steve Rogers went on a rice. He went missing and nobody knew what happened. He had to get a mock shield because the real shield actually went with Cap and all of that's relived in uh, issue number four of the Avengers. So I'm sure everybody's got that issue, right? <laughs> Marvel Unlimited app, baby. That's where you're going to find it. But wow. So we've got another, uh, and, and just for the sake of conversation, the second real Patriot was actually Eli Bradley, the son of Isaiah Bradley, who is technically the very first Captain America, or if you really just want to, you know, brass tacks, the pre-Captain America from Red, White, and actually, the, I think it was called Truth, Red, White, and Black. And just beautiful story, one of the most beautiful stories out there that you could possibly read. And now we've got a new Patriot. We've seen him coming up in Secret Empire, issue number one, and boom, now we know who it's going to be. So we, I thought it was going to be Sam Wilson. I'm glad that they tricked me. Good trick, because I do want to see him 
keep the wings. So maybe he can actually take the proper Falcon, um, uh, Joaquin Torres out as his apprentice, as his sidekick, so to speak. And just, we, we, wow. This was an incredible comic, guys. This really was. Captain America Sam Wilson has been a good comic, but even though Steve was involved in it a little bit, it really kind of was its own standalone. We couldn't see exactly how this was leading up to a role with Secret Empire, not the way that some of the other comics were doing, Uncanny Avengers and, and Captain America Steve Rogers specifically. Couldn't really see it as well, but here... Forget about it. Now it all seems to fall into place. The evil plots and plans are out of control. Guys, I'm going to give this comic an A-. minus. This was so good. Absolutely perfect. I don't know how they could have made this comic any better. It was really that good. I'm in love with everything that I'm seeing. There's going to be one more issue coming up. Just one more. And of, of you know, so issue number 22 of Captain America, Sam Wilson. After that, about two weeks, a week and a half later or so, yeah, two weeks later, we should see the first issue of Secret Empire, finally. Guys, also, don't forget, I just put the thing up not too long ago. I'm going to be having an interview with Ario Anandito. He is one of the collaborators. He's one of the creative designers. He is one of the comic book artists involved in Secret Empire. He's actually the artist for Secret Empire United. And I'm going to be talking with him Saturday at 10 a.m. Go ahead and check it out. You can you can ask questions also. And let's just get that live chat pumping, baby. All right, guys. Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.